Because, right, so we have a two different things anyway. This is Freedom Steve, and he's on our side. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm with Steve with the Truth Trumpet. I want to grab a mic. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to say? What What brought you here today? Well, the most important thing, we are the parents. We are the ones who raised those kids. We are the most people who love their children. Not anybody else. We cannot uh, accept to replace the authority of the parents with a different authority. They will not. The Board of Education, they don't love our children more than we love them. So we are here for the care of our children. We don't want anybody to, to do any legislation that will harm our kids in the school. Keep the school a place for education. It's not a place just to, I mean, uh, 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 propagating a certain agenda to serve a certain group of people who considered as the minority in this country. We are here for Canada. We are here for the freedom. We are here for our own children to be in a healthy environment. That's why we are here. And would you say that there's a diverse group of people on this side of concerned parents? Uh, definitely. As you see here, you can see the diversity in this a group here from all background. They are here come for the children. So those people, they say, I was talking to them and they say we are for the children. I say, you have a different, I mean, way than us. We are the parents. We are the one who care for our kids. So open the door for us. Let us, I mean, me have the meeting with the Board of Education. Why the Board of Education lock the door on us? They don't have, let us even hear what's going on there. So it's a conspiracy agenda or what? Well, it's never been done before, but I'm not sure if you know, but ever since the emergency orders were put into place for the COVID lockdowns, it seems the government and elected officials sideswipe rules and laws and change and amend policies to suit fear tactics under the guise of safety or fear. Yes, yes, I cannot really hear you. I'm just, well, police is interfering. Now, if they allow me to say a few words, I will. Sure. Okay. Since the police is here, now I have the more freedom to speak. Okay, they were not here. So, uh, what's the question again, please? You, you say something, I didn't want to pay attention. Uh, I'm trying to remember what my question was now. It was long-winded as I usually am. But if if they, ever since the COVID lockdowns, yes. they have used the emergency act, emergency orders, to amend policy, to implement fear in a way, as in a guise, uh, as a disguise of safety in order to shut out people from meetings or for them to not be in their offices and work remotely from home. So they're very hard to access now. And it almost seems like they're changing policy in order to shut the citizens out of the say on anything, let alone just parents here. Clear, clear. This is what we, we have. I look at it is not only this, this group, I mean here, as you say the diversity and all this here, we actually, what we are saying, that's are the blocking. Make a block between us and them. Parents, they want to see what's going on there. As they have a legislation, they have a new policy. I mean, it's harming our kids, it's harming our country, and harming our society. We have to say, we are in this country here. Where I have myself nine kids and I have a nine grandkids. They go to the public school. That's beautiful. I have... Uh, yeah, we, well, nine kids and nine grandkids. So I care for them. I've been in Canada 42 years. Here to see this, my kids was raised in a very peaceful, I mean, environment. Okay. Now look at what's going on. What's going to happen to our society? What's going to happen to Canada? What we have? What's going to happen to the country that we love? and left our homeland to replace it with the most beautiful homeland here. We, we like, we, we have, we are very genuine about, about this. We are the, 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 the uh, genuine people behind their kids. Do you feel that you were lied to 
Uh, if people that came here as immigrants were lied to about it is. It is a damn big change. It's a big lie. No, they are lying about 10% of the society, 5% of the society. Those who are hiding and close the door and us, we are represent you are representing us. We voted for you to stand for us. Don't lock the door on us. We have to talk to you as a human, as people who love the, the country. We are not here to fight. We are not here to create violence or anything. Just please listen to us. I just talk. want our voices heard. Exactly. Oh. Thank you very much. And you're uh, Abdullah Hamoud. I'm the Imam of Al Hijra Mosque. Okay. I'm just on Howard, 1500 Howard. I'm the Imam of the Muslim community of Windsor for the last 40 years. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.